Okay, so keyframes. We all hate keyframes, right? Every video editor out there knows what a hassle keyframes really are. And trust me, with this new hack which I found, which I have been using for the past few years, and I don't know why a lot of people don't really know this yet. With this hack, you can save a ton of time in doing keyframing. With that being said, what is up guys, I'm Pistol Sammy. I made videos on videography, photography and stuff. This, so if you guys are interested in those kind of areas, then do make sure to subscribe to this channel because we have to play with that YouTube algorithm. With that being said, let's get started. So say for example, I'm doing a simple keyframe. Say for example, I'm going to blur out my hand. So, you know, this is the movement. Actually, for the sake of tutorial, I'm going to keep it very simple. So I'm going to move it from this side to this side. So that is it. And this technique can be used in any software out there. Let it be Final Cut Pro, let it be Premiere Pro, let it be After Effects, anything. All the After Effects, there is a much smoother way to do this. But in Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro, this is how you do it. So with that being said, the easiest way to do it is that, you know, set the mask, set the blur, do everything. So go to the first frame, set a keyframe to the mask path and then after that go to the last frame, set a keyframe and adjust the position as per the last frame just like this. And then you are going to see a very smooth movement of the mask and you don't really have to do anything in between. But yes, it is not really perfect, right? You have to readjust a lot of things. So at this point, go to the center keyframe or the middle keyframe between the two keyframes and then again readjust the mask and then after that you are going to see that the keyframe or the movement is much smoother than before that is how you do it and in this case it is automatically readjusting a lot of things in between and you guys are saving a ton of time and if it still doesn't work or if the keyframe still not yet look that smooth then again go to the center keyframe of the first two keyframes just like this and then again readjust the mask again go to the center keyframe of the last two keyframes and again readjust the mask. At this point, if it is a shorter clip, if it is a shorter duration clip, most of the time it really does the job because a lot of things of the keyframes is done automatically and you guys are saving a ton of time. And I can't vouch how many times this method has been used by me and how much hours and hours of work I have saved over doing this because trust me when I'm editing for a client this is not just for one clip there are loads and loads of different kinds of clips where I have to place the same effect same kind of keyframes over and over again so using this technique can really save you hours and you all know time is equal to money right so with that being said I hope you guys like this video guys if you guys like this video then do make sure to subscribe drop a comment about what you guys think about it with that being said I'm Pitzel Sam we will be back with a new video soon. Peace out.